recent news yesterday. Like, how does I mean, what's what's uh, the feeling like to like be you know named an All Star? Yeah, excited. I think I'm definitely proud. Haven't been in the league for seven years. I think I've there's been a couple years where I've been quite close, and so to finally be able to check it off the off the bucket list is cool for sure. And then Matt, we'll take some from Zoom now. All right, we'll go to Dave Johnson. Hey, Aaron, uh, talking about the All Star. How is being on this DC United team in this environment, or, or the coaching of uh, Troy Lassane helped you reach? all-star potential in your mind yeah I think I would start off by saying the coaches have they've done a great job this year I think just with the team and the players as individuals for sure but um for me I think they've they've given me a lot of freedom to sort of play my style of play and uh, be able to get up and down and be able to make mistakes and and that when it, when, it, when a player feels like they're able to do that they they're usually able to fulfill their potential and 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 play as good as they can be. So yeah, they've given me a lot of freedom to, to do what I like to do, and I think that's paying dividends for sure. I was just gonna say, is that, is that the, the key that, that you know, uh, uh, that you don't have to think about it. The, the coaches believe in you, so you have that freedom. Yeah. And for, just suddenly you're just playing like a, you're a kid again. Yeah, for sure, just I think enjoying it. I think anytime an athlete is able to enjoy what they do and sort of play without that weight on their shoulders, I think that they're gonna, they're gonna usually play a lot better. It's a, definitely a, a big mental thing and I think I've been on on teams in the past where that sort of wasn't the case I didn't I didn't feel like I was able to sort of do what I like to do and uh, felt sort of restricted so yeah coming here and having that freedom has been it's been incredible and for, for this team it, it, take us inside it, it's got to be there's something about this team if you can go to the Red Bulls and you're down man, a man in the game uh, you're, you're missing players and yet you still get a result with the weight of a, a, an un, a losing streak on you, basically. What, what, as you've been on teams, what is it about this team? Yeah, I think with the amount of adversity that we've had to deal with this year, I think in, in sort of all aspects of the game, uh, on the field and off the field, I think in games like that, we're sort of not, not used to it, but when it does happen, we're, we're not necessarily shocked and we're, we're sort of, we're ready to embrace the the difficulty of the situation, and I mean, anyone that's that's been following the team closely, as I'm sure all you guys have, you've you've seen the adversity that we've had to go through this year with injuries and uh, a lot of bad fortune in, in certain games and and not being able to close games out. So I think it's something that we don't want to be used to, but <laughs> we've sort of had to get used to it this year and uh, sort of accept the the situations that we've been put in and. Just, just try to maximize that, and I think on Saturday that's what we were able to do. Well, again, congratulations. It's so well deserved. Appreciate it. Next, we'll go to Dennis Gomez. Hey, Aaron. Thank you for speaking with us. Um, you've been providing a lot of service and assists uh, to your teammates, and as well, uh, you've done a great job defensively. Uh, what are some of the areas that you'd like to continue to work on to get better individually and as a team? I think all of them still. I think I can keep getting better in, in every in every aspect of the game. Um, being a leader on the field and, and off the field is something, it's a big area that I, I think I can keep growing for sure. Um, but yeah, defensively being more disciplined still, I think there, there's times where I can tend to sort of get lazy and, and not put in the work early. Um, so I think just being more disciplined defensively and then yeah, the service, service can continue to get better. I think on the, in the attacking third, I think sort of, being more aggressive on the dribble and uh, taking more chances myself to to make plays individually and um, I mean start creating goals for myself. So I think that that's a big goal of mine and uh, an area that I can definitely keep improving in. And just as a follow up, uh, what is your message to the fans ahead of the game uh, tomorrow? I mean, just keep showing up. I think regardless of, of the results that we've been getting this year, the fans have continued to show up every game and. Sometimes we, we don't know why, but it's just it's, it's how loyal they are. And, um, I mean, we, we definitely feel the support every game. It's incredible. And, um, yeah, so we just pray that they keep showing up regardless of the, of the situation we've been in. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep leaving everything on the field for them and um, try to hopefully make this season a, a memorable one. Thank you. We'll go to Byron Kerr. 
Hey, Aaron, thank you so much for your time. It's nice to talk to you uh, before Cincinnati. Um, can you, you mentioned about being aggressive offensively, and you know, you see, you see Jared get a goal, Pedro get another goal, and, and you mentioned about your offense. Is, is that important for your team uh, to try to get, you know, like you said, some rush from the back to, to, to put some pressure on Cincinnati? Yeah, for sure. I think going over the game plan, I mean, I can't give you guys too much, but, you know, they got a lot of, a lot of great attacking talent, and when that's usually the case, they can, be, they can be pretty lazy defensively. So I think we've got to be very efficient when we do go forward in, in ending plays, either with a shot on, shot on goal, I mean, a shot over the goal, in the goal. I mean, we, we just got to make sure we're ending plays, getting corner kicks, and uh, not letting them counter back the other way because when those offensive players do get lazy, they're usually, they're usually ready to go back the other way. So we got, we got to definitely be uh, disciplined in ending plays and um, at the same time disciplined when, when we don't because we're not going to end the play every time. We got to be ready on the, on the other side going the other way. Thank you, Aaron. Aaron, we have one last one submitted via Zoom. What are some of the areas that you would like to build off of from a strong, hard-fought result against Red Bull at the weekend? Yeah, just, I mean, more discipline, obviously. I mean, looking at the, the situation we got put in there pretty early, I think it was it was a bit unfortunate. Like I said, a lot, a lot, of, uh, a lot of luck hasn't went our way this year. So, yeah, being more disciplined with, uh, with getting cards and stuff like that, of course. I mean, we want, we want all 11 guys on the field. So we'll have our best chance to win. So being more disciplined in that aspect. And then outside of that, I think last game, it was a great game offensively and defensively for us, I think. The, the second goal, we probably could have done a little better, but um, yeah, I mean, just just keep building, just keep staying together as a team, and uh, leaving it all on the field. And I think if we're able to do that, I think the, we'll be able to turn things around.